Welcome to the SolidCam University's channel. Today's video is about the MAC transform. So this is transformations of the coordinate systems rather than the operations. Uh, in some instances, that actually might be easier to use and more beneficial than if you were to try and go and create coordinate systems, a uh, single coordinate system, and then operations for that entire part in that one coordinate system. So we'll see exactly what I mean once we get forward. So you'll see my part here. I have an index table representing my fixture, and I've got 16 parts on this table with two holes in them, one hole being on an angle. So I definitely have to make a subposition for that hole. Now, rather than going in there and creating uh, coordinate system one and two, or sorry, Mac one, position one, Mac one, position two, and then operations in there, and then trying to do transformations in the fourth axis and linear and a bunch of that, um, we're just gonna use the coordinate system transform and the MAC transformation to get those coordinate systems. So let's begin by creating the MAC positions. So right now I just have MAC1 position one. Um, I will eventually need MAC1 position two, but you're gonna see that it actually will be easier to not create it at this point and just create it right before I actually use it in an operation. Right now we're just gonna worry about the main MAC numbers, MAC1, MAC2, MAC3, and so forth for all 16 parts. To get to the MAC transformations, we just have to right click on the, transfer, on, the, uh, on the MAC number, go to Create Transformed Copies. The transformations that exist for MAC numbers are just the translate and the fourth axis. And they work the same way you would have used, uh, the, the same way that you would have seen them in uh, the operations. So we'll go translate. Again, we have the option of matrix and list. In 2016, we were given the ability to use whichever coordinate system we want. In this case, I will continue to use the MAC1 position one coordinate system. So we're just gonna go in the X direction of the MAC1 position one coordinate system. So number of copies, four. Step, we're gonna say five inches because I happen to know they're five inches apart. Click OK, create, and I have Mac one through four created on those parts. And that's it. So I can use the coordinate system transform on those, no problem. But there's actually 16 parts. So I'm gonna show you how to do the fourth axis first before we combine them. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. So we're back to Mac one position one. Once again, right click, create transform copies fourth axis. Here again, we get to choose which coordinate system we'd like to use. I'm actually going to say use the Mac 1 position 1 X axis. And you can see the little red line there represents the rotary axis. I'm not going to rotate it around there. I'm actually going to rotate it in a parallax, parallel axis that goes through this point right there. And then again, you can see the little red line. So again, we're going to say incremental angle of 90 degrees. We need three of those. Insert and then we'll have Mac 1 through 4 in the fourth axis. Okay, so that is if you were just using the fourth axis. Now let's combine them. Just like any other transformation inside SolidCam, you can actually combine transformations. So we're going to redo this again for the linear. I'm just going to say four copies, five inches apart. Before I close the window, I'm going to go fourth axis, 90 degrees three steps in a parallel rotary axis right there. Okay, click OK, click Create. Okay, it looks like I forgot to add something. So let's just redo that again. So this is a good example to make sure you properly click on all the buttons. Let's go Translate. five inches. Okay. We will add fourth axis, 90 degrees, three steps. Insert, click OK. So now we have the two transformations there, create, and we have our 16 coordinate systems. Again, now on your, on your machine, you're going to set these up like that with 16 coordinate systems. If your post processor is set up to do that, um, this may take a bit of time, but you'll have individual control on each of the 16 pieces. Now, with those coordinate systems there, now we'll go back and under Mac 1 position 1, we're just going to add a Mac 1 position 2. Again, pretty simple because I'm just going to go in there. Let's say choose that face right there. 
and we have our MAC1 position 2, so we can do that whole. I'm just going to make a copy of this drilling operation. So we'll say in my copy, we're going to do MAC1 position 2. Just set, select that drill point right there. Levels, we'll change it so that it makes sense for this coordinate system. Okay, so for that first piece under MAC1 position 1, and MAC1 position 2, we've got the dr two drilled operations. So this is what I was referring to before on how this is going to be simple. So now I can take these two, and we will go to Transform, Coordinate System Transform, include the original operation, so MAC1 position 1, and here is a list of all our coordinate systems. I'll check all of them, click OK, Save. With the Coordinate System Transform added, it copied both operations to all the parts, and it created the coordinate systems necessary. So let's go back to our list here. Mac 1 position 2 doesn't currently actually exist on this list, but it is transformed to each part. So actually, that angle will exist for each one. Okay, so all 16 parts are done. So in conclusion, basically, you'll program your first part, and with the corner system transform, it'll copy all the operations necessary to do the rest of the parts. If you have any other questions, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2, for the main tech support line, or you can use the e-support ticket system to send us your parts with any kind of issues you have as well at solidcamsupport.com. Any other questions, you can also check the other videos on this channel for other topics. Thanks for watching.